Of course, Spain have, have been the most successful nation, you know, for many a, a year in the last sort of ten years themselves. And, and Barcelona, a former club of yours, have, have, you know, the best club side in the world, arguably. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think that, that England can take from from that example? Well, I think uh, we we all have to learn in life, and I think the FA is in the moment where they need to to make decisions and to decide where they want to go, which kind of will they want to play, the way they have to educate both players and managers. Uh, it, it was the time for the Spanish Federation to make those decisions and to take that time and, set, and treat the Federation as a, probably more as a club than as a federation where, <coughs> sorry, it's difficult when you get players together once a month and have to play them together and, and, and perform and succeed. That's, that's quite hard to do. And the Spanish uh, Federation managed to to get these players where they, they, they know each other, they were playing together since they were younger, and uh, they, they kind of understand, understood and saw football in the same way. And that's probably where the, the FA wants to go or would like to go with this St. George and, and, and get the youth players, the, the managers, and working everyone in the same direction. Of course, the money that the FA invests back into to the grassroots level can, can only help those sort of things. Absolutely, obviously. Uh, football is about money uh, and vice versa. Uh, you need money to, to develop facilities, you need money to develop coaches and players. And, and uh, for as, as far as I know, the FA is, is, is investing in these things and I'm sure doing it the right way, there will be a, a, award, a reward at the end of the road.